you guys, this is uh, something that's been on my mind for quite a while. And I wrote it down, you know, when it first came to me. And it's probably been about three weeks or so, maybe even a month ago. And I entitled this one, Are We Ready and Excited About the Return of Christ? Because... Anybody that joins us in the mornings when we're live, you guys know that we had plans uh, for Denise and Tatum to come. Denise is the one that's on my show in the mornings, um, and then her grandson Tatum. So, and then um, since Dwayne Mothership Products moved, um, relocated to Alabama well he was going to come down here and meet Denise too so you know all of that was exciting and we've been planning it and I knew I had to get this room in here straight because that's where her and Tatum would be so you know when I thought about how much excitement was inside of me about seeing them it came to me are we as excited about Christ coming back are we ready are we prepared so you know I pushed my body and it's my own fault because I had time to do things in a in a more relaxed way I could have worked on it so much every day I used the um, old bathroom as storage you know so I could have done that and I should have so when this first came to me and I wrote it up I was all excited my spiritual self was good I was going to church I fired up all of that and in my heart, I, I'm still fired up. But what I'm saying is, this is the parable of the ten virgins. And I'm going to read this. Because I was feeling all, all that, you know, and all that in a you know, bag of peanuts or popcorn, you know, and feeling so good about everything. And I thought, oh, I'm one of the wise virgins. I'm one of the five. I got my stuff together. Well, I guess the reason that I did, did not get put this out there earlier, because guess what? I'm going to read this, and it's going to come around to me. So I'm just saying. Um, so... If you go to Matthew uh, tw chapter 25, like I said, this is a parable that Jesus gave. <clears throat> Verse 1, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Verse 7 says, Then all those virgins arose. And trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding and the door was shut 
verse 11. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. So that is Matthew 25, 1 through 13. Now, when I was all about that, I was one of the top five, you know. That's what I was thinking, you know, when this came to me. But when it came down to it, for me being prepared for Denise and Tatum, I got in full gear that Saturday before they came. They came on the 17th. So what I do Saturday, I get in here and work, 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 and then uh, I cut it off. And then um, a Sunday, I knew they was going to be here Sunday um, in the evening sometime. So I went to church Sunday morning and my body was hurting and I had to leave early. So I get back and I go into high gear. Those of you that know me, uh, especially my kids, they know that if I start doing things in a rush and I do too much, that it will put me down. So it ended up, I was not prepared. And I paid for it. I really did, you guys. Um, because I did put off and I put off. And because of that, it knocked me out two weeks. So when Denise was here, she hung out with me. We watched <laughs> watched TV and stayed in my room. And we just went somewhere once. Uh, Tiffany and Casey, me and Tatum and us. But I was hurting so bad. Um, I enjoyed having my time with Denise. I did. But, you know, every time I was hurting, I kept thinking, you weren't prepared. You knew better. You shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and I kept thinking of this. You know, and so I was like, okay, God, I hear you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not one of the wise ones. But we all need to be. Because the one that is coming, our bride, our bridegroom, when he comes, we need to be prepared. And that is getting our spiritual self. That is getting the oil in our lamps. Being prepared. And if we can be as excited about meeting people. Um, excited about, say, meeting somebody in person that we've known online or even at church being excited because someone's difference coming and we've got something going on we've got to be as excited and tell people that Jesus is coming back and you're supposed to be ready and this is my about third go around trying to do this and I had to really stop and pray because I said, God, I'm not, I'm not even um, prepared. I, I didn't 
pray over this. I didn't get prepared, so I had to really, you know, pray over it. And I've just been scattered. Uh, I, I miss my church family, and I miss my uh, internet family. I miss all of you guys, and it's all my fault. Because nobody knows their body except you. And what I did was a very foolish thing. So, I'm really dealing with that. So, you know, and so, I had, this has been on my mind, been on my mind, and I'm like, I've got to do it. I have got to put this together. I've got to get myself together. I've got to uh, mentally prepare to do this. And, you know, I I asked Tiffany, I said, when you do videos, does it bother you? How do you just do them? And, you know, she said, I just talk like I'm talking to somebody. I don't know why me uploading a video and then, you know, placing it on YouTube is so much different than doing a live. Um, doing, you know, you guys being in the chat and everything, that is so much different. It's easier for me to do live than to do a video like this. It's so much easier to do live. Because I have you guys to bounce things off of, you know. But I thank God he gave me a time to really, you know, let it come together. And I thank God that he gives us chance after chance that he does not just, he does not get frustrated with us. You know, if we tell our kids, or even our grown kids, if we ask and ask and ask for them to do something and they just don't do it. You know, we get frustrated. And God loves us. But I would be frustra frustrated <laughs> with myself. You know, I would be aggravated. Didn't I tell you to do this? Didn't I tell you to do this? But he doesn't do that to us. He does very softly, you know, lets us know, hey, you know, you need to do this. He doesn't do it with condemnation. He doesn't do it with anger. But that Holy Spirit he put here, it reminds us. And that is a wonderful, wonderful gift that he gave each of us. So we're supposed to be ready. We're supposed to be excited. Um, and I hope this makes sense. I really do. Because now that I've gotten it out, and I got to read his word and explain this, I feel better. I feel... I feel like I finally did something that he, you know, he put on my heart to do. And you guys I always talk with my hands. When I'm live, you guys don't see it. But, you know, I just thank God that he loves me. And that he put this in my heart. I really am. I he has been so good to me and my family. So you guys, um, I'll upload this and need to get back faithful. You know, I need to get back online and we will. And get back to my church family because some of them have uh, messaged me and I thank God for them. I really do. So thank you guys for watching this and
comment let me know you know what you think and once again thank you